So sometimes with probability, um, we kind of run experiments and we track things over a really long period of time. So long run frequency is basically doing that. We try something a bunch of times and we see what happens from it. So we kind of just observe and then from there we can calculate a probability. So what we have to do is keep track of the outcome for every trial that we do, whether it's what we want or what we don't want. And after we've tracked all that, we can figure out the totals and from there we're able to work out our probability using the number of successes, the number of times we got what we wanted, um, and the number of trials. So in this little mini experiment, which you guys can do on your own, or um, you can do it this way as well. So I don't have another way to show you the rolling of a die other than this little sim that I found. So when I click on it, it's going to randomly roll a die for me. And what I'm looking for here is the number of times that I get six. So I'm going to consider one is not a six, so I'll put a little hash mark there, keeping tally. And we're just going to keep rolling. Let's see if I can squeeze that down. Lots of ones here. And that's okay. This is randomness at work. So when do you think you would expect me to roll a six using this? How many times should I have to roll it before that happens? Well, it looks like I'm going to be rolling it a lot of times here. And we keep going. Oh, we got a six. So after 15, on the 15th toss, we finally got a six. But um, let's just do a few more. Now the longer we do this for, um, the more accurate we would be, but I don't want to bore you all to tears, so I'll just try and round it off to a nice number here. So again, every time I'm not getting a 6, I keep track of the ones that are not 6, and every time I get a 6, I put it in. So maybe we'll stop on that one. Okay, so after I've done that, um, I can figure out how many total uh, for the sixes. So in total for my sixes, I saw three sixes. And here for the not sixes, I had five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 of them. So my total tally and my total here was 21. So a total of 21 throws and I got three sixes. So again, probability, if we want to think about it, this is listed as the number of successes, but sometimes you're thinking about the number of what you what you wanted. And in this case, that was sixes that we were looking for over total. So what you desire out of the total or what you wanted out of the total. So the probability of getting a six, as I've determined from this long run frequency, based only on my experiment of rolling the dice 21 times, I'm going to say that, well, I got a six three times out of the total of 21. That simplifies to 1 over 7. And we can keep that as a fraction, or you can put it as a decimal if you want to do that in your calculator. Now the alternative here, the probability of not getting a 6, so that's what the shorthand here, the p bracket not 6 means probability of not 6. Similar to p bracket 6 means probability of getting a 6. So the number of times I did not get a 6 was 18 out of 21. And that should simplify to 6 over 7. And a couple of things that you might notice here is that um, 1 7th and 6 7th should add up to 1. The total possibility here should add up to 1. So if I add those two together, I should get 1. So what would I have expected to have happen? On a 6-sided die, on a fair die, if I think about it, I probably would have expected it to be a 1 in 6 chance of getting a 6. But here we got a 1 and 7, so that's a little bit less likely. And if that's hard for you to visualize in terms of fractions, that as a fraction, that fraction converted to a decimal would be something similar to this. And 1 and 1 6, so that's 1 6th, and that would be 0 0.167. 
So here you can see this number is slightly bigger, meaning slightly more likely to happen than what we saw. And that's okay. I'm saying it would be a one in six chance because there's six sides on the die and they each have an equal chance of coming up, so one out of six. But here I do have a little bit of randomness with the long run frequency because in reality what we see isn't always what we'd expect in a perfect world. So in a perfect world we'd roll the die six times and we would expect, expect to get at least one six in there. But in reality it took us almost 15 goes before we got our first six. And that's okay, again that's due to randomness. So we can say here, um, we didn't get one six due to randomness. So again, that's just the chaos of the natural world. Things don't always work out as we'd expect. So I'm going to get you guys to go do some activities with us. And um, keep in mind, the longer we do the long run frequency, the more accurate it will be. So maybe we should put that up here. The more trials we do, the more accurate it will be. So if I had the time, I'd do may way more than 21 and we might actually see that get closer to 1 out of 6. But again, I'll let you guys go with that.